What's good with the collective? Y'all know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate everybody who been tapping in, running up, and subbing up. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop an upload. Hey, y'all know we coming with them four videos a week, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, it helps collective grow, helps the collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content tap in with this content. But I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I did go see that new movie, uh, Late Night with the Devil. Bro, they got a lot of sim symbolism in that movie, bro. They talking about a lot, especially if y'all want to go see about Bohemian Grove. But I am mindful. Not everybody likes to see those movies. Some people think that it, you can attach that energy to yourself. I respect that as well. If you're not and you like those type of movies and you like to go di diving deeper down the rabbit hole, bro, check that movie out, bro. It's hard. It's hard, bro. It's a dope movie. It got a lot of symbolism in it, though. But I ain't gonna hold you. Let's get to the video, man. Let's go. Okay, we're looking at the sun again this morning. Today's date is March the 24th, 2024. I captured this on March the 20, uh, 20th at 7 a.m. And the time now is almost 8 o'clock, and we have the sun looking like this again. Um, again, there's a planet underneath it. We're here in lower Alabama. Sorry, guys, trying to zoom in. And it's still pulsating really strongly like it was the other day. So, yeah. I'm trying to zoom in, you guys, to see how it's still pulsating. And it's even pulsating like this, even to the naked eye. I'm trying to get it closer. Sorry, you guys. I'm zooming in and zooming out, trying to get it. There we go. And my son, he's only six. He says, wow, mommy, look at the sun. So, yeah, you guys. God is amazing. Y'all have a blessed morning. Stay safe. Hey, yo, I was locked in on that one. I got my comment coming. Hey guys, so I was listening to Sloan Bella's most recent live and I couldn't help but agree with what she was saying. She was talking about Ryan Garcia and how she believes he's glitching. If you know, you know. Every now and then, you see a celebrity break out, they wild out, they start just acting erratically, they just start saying a bunch of things, and to the regular folks, oh, they're crazy, they're mentally ill, and they need help. Sloan Bella also brought up a very interesting point. She said that when Ryan stated that they held him down and made him watch, and they brought him to where they brought him to BG, when they took him there, the, the goal was to get him to participate in whatever they were participating in so they could allegedly blackmail him. All of this is alleged, by the way. This is to allegedly blackmail him. And when he didn't participate and he broke code, we got the Ryan Garcia that we see right now. Ryan Garcia, I didn't know till you guys said... Hear what he said, but he is he is MK Ultra. You can tell because he's glitching. Ryan Garcia, okay, Ryan Garcia, who I didn't know who he was, but he was talking about Bohemian Grove, and he's talking about them children and wanting him to participate. The reason that they want him to participate is so they can blackmail him. Hollywood is run on blackmail. You are not going out on camera to have a personal opinion about anything, okay, because they have an agenda. So it's really interesting. The inversion is the Baphomet agenda. JC, he's not next. Bieber's next. But I told you about Aaron Carter before that happened. Told you about P. Diddy. Bieber, then Jay-Z. They still need Jay-Z right now. In that first clip, I don't... It could be real. It could be real. The pulsating of the sun, that looks more real than anything. That that little lens, it looked like a lens flare at the bottom. But then again, you can see the lens flare going all over the camera. She said it's a planet under the sun. That one can be, uh, it could be, it could be a 50-50 thing. And I stand in the middle of that one. 
And y'all spamming up what y'all believe. But me, in this one, I'm in the middle of that. Because it could have been a lens flare that she she picked up. But the it was pulsating. But then again, that even could have been something. That even could have been, like, just the effect of it being on camera. But we've seen so much crazy stuff about the sun. And the truth about the sun and stuff of that nature. It's like, mm, can't dismiss it though. You got you still got to keep the open mind based off all the things we just seen with the damn sun. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And in this last clip, how y'all feel about that? Bieber next, then Jay. Again, this is for entertainment purposes. But Hollywood is ran on blackmail. We know that. That's why they make you do some of the craziest stuff so they can hold it against you so you can't go... They want they show what they want us to see. That's how I feel about it too. Some so sometimes when I see truthful stuff hit the hit the masses, I be like, bro, what? That's just a part of their agenda. Sometimes they don't want the truth out. Sometimes they don't mind if it's out. Cause again, what happens if they give us the truth and we choose to accept it? I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. An Oregon man who drugged three 12-year-old girls at his daughter's sleepover was just released from jail into the public. Anyone living in Oregon who has kids should listen to the story because it's terrifying. On August 26th of last year, 57-year-old Michael Maiden insisted that his 12-year-old daughter invite a couple of her friends over for a sleepover. So that's exactly what she did. She invited three of her friends who were also all 12 over to her Lake Oswego home for what should have been a night of fun. And it did start out that way. The girls spent their day playing in the sprinklers, getting in the hot tub, and then took showers and got ready for bed when Michael told them to. The girls then spent the majority of their night in the basement of Michael's home having a spa night, watching movies and doing facials. But at around 11 p.m., Michael came into the basement and gave all of the girls, including his daughter, mango smoothies that he made for them. Each cup had a different colored straw so they could tell whose cup was whose. Immediately upon drinking, the girls complained of the taste and saw that the smoothies had white chunks in it and white powder sprinkled on the top. But Michael insisted that they all drink it. Three of the girls did, but one girl said that it tasted so bad that she stopped after one sip, which made Michael incredibly angry. And he did almost everything to try and get her to drink it. They each reportedly started drinking from each other's cup, which also made Michael mad. After drinking the smoothies, the girls became clumsy and woozy and they all fell into a deep sleep. All except for the one girl who didn't drink the smoothie. The girl who didn't drink the smoothie was sharing a pullout couch with one of her friends that did, while Michael's daughter and another friend were in an adjacent room. According to the girl who wasn't drugged, Michael then came downstairs to check on them and he did so a bunch of times. So much so that the girl became scared and pretended to be asleep, but she said that she could feel him watching her. At this point, she said that she was terrified that he was going to do something. And that fear was backed up when Michael began performing tests on the girls to make sure that they weren't awake. He would put his finger under the girls' noses and he would move their arms and bodies to make sure they were sleeping. At this point, the girl who was secretly awake could feel him begin to separate her from her friend. And so when he went back upstairs, the girl texted her mom to come and pick her up. She said, quote, Mom, please pick me up and say I had a family emergency. I don't feel safe. I might not respond, but please come get me, end quote. Unfortunately, this was around 2 a.m. and her mom didn't get the messages. But thankfully, she was able to get a hold of another friend who sent her parents to pick the girl up. They gave the girl a ride home who then woke up her mom and told her what happened, saying that she thinks her friends may have been drunk. Her mom then notified the other girl's parents and they all showed up around 3 a.m. to pick up their kids. When they arrived, Michael initially resisted and told them to come back in the morning, but the parents said no and demanded to be let inside to pick up their girls. By the next day, all three girls were taken to the hospital where they tested positive for benzodiazepine, a depressant that produces sedation and hypnosis. When authorities went to Michael's home, they confiscated a Vitamix blender, a mortar and pestle, cups, straws, tramadol, and five bottles of temazepam. In just weeks after this incident, Michael and his wife divorced. He was married at the time. Last week, Michael turned himself in and pleaded guilty to nine separate charges, but he has since posted bail and has been released back into the public. This story is exactly why I will never let my children go to sleepovers. You just never know what could happen. <sighs> Bro, this is some sick ass. It looks like we've got another alien on a plane, just like last summer when that lady was saying that MF is not real. This guy seems terrified though, and so does everyone else on the plane. Here's what apparently the alien looks like as well. Looks pretty creepy to me. But I thought it was interesting that everyone on this plane seems like they're freaking out that something is very wrong. It's not just some fight or whatever. This reminds me of a month ago at Miami Mall when people said they saw aliens, 10 foot tall creatures walking around. 
and that it was apparently because the veil for what has been secretly hiding around us all this time is starting to be revealed. And that's why people are seeing more of these UFOs and like crazy monstrous alien stuff, just like the lady on the plane last June and this last month. So perhaps there are actual creatures hiding among us. But what do you think? Is this fact or fiction? It's all fact until you show us that picture of the alien on the plane. I wonder what she's talking about. Probably the Obama thing. <laughs> Public place, you did it. Is this the best or the worst? What do you do? The best? Probably the Obama thing. <laughs> John! What's the, oh, God. The oh, God. John? What? What, what, is, what is your wife talking about? I don't know. We're not talking know. about it. That's the truth. That is an awesome answer. Not the White House. Not the, it was not, it the, was White not House, at the White House. It was not the White House. 100% not the White House. He was not elected yet. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, okay. we're moving uh, on. I'm sorry. <laughs> trouble now. Oh, you're good. Here we have an email discussing that the White House is flying in $65,000 worth of hot dogs and pizza. Chrissy Teigen deleted 60,000 tweets. If the person okayed it, I would eat a human. Only way you out. wouldn't try a tiny bite? No. No. Really? Absolutely not. So tell me about Joe. What do I need to know? Like, what's the thing about the ice cream? Ice cream is big. Uh, pasta with red sauce. He, he can he, he can go deep on that. Uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes I swear to y'all, this shit get crazy even for me to watch. Some of the stuff I hear and see, I be like, bro, are you serious right now? What? They clearly speaking in subliminal terms, bro. They talking about something way deeper than what it appears to be. But it's crazy just just think about this. There's people out there still. It's the this is this is where we gotta be patient. Some of them will understand this stuff, some of them won't. But for the ones who don't, just think we get it, we understand it. There's still people out there who don't, man. And that's sad, bro. That's sad because it's at the expenses of other people's livelihood. It's, it's at the expenses of other people. Literally. And that's the sad part. But again, it's for entertainment purposes. We just bringing, we just, we just, we just looking at some videos right now. But man, it's just crazy. Some of the stuff you hear, right? Some of the stuff you hear is crazy. Here that we're getting this information from, we were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra. I would say less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up this street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful, would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this afternoon we actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates and as soon as they got inside the home one of the things that first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there now they did take a couple people into custody we witnessed that now are they under arrest are they just being uh, asked about what they know that I can't answer but I can tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody Today we're, we're inside that home at the time of the raid. We did see a bunch of investigators going in, making the raid in there, and clearing that as well. So they're going to do a thorough search as they conduct this raid. And so far, Stu, from what I understand and from Haley on the ground there, they have not seen, and we have not seen from our vantage point, any sign of Sean Combs, the fifth. He probably took that private jet. <laughs> So your boy, your boy Eric got a new whip. You're going to die. Oh, shit. What did Will Smith really mean to tell us? Y'all, we out here on vacation in the Bahamas. Another beautiful day. Check it out. Check it out. Boom. 
I want to talk to y'all for a minute about the power of perception. You see, there's a lot that goes in to being a hot social media content provider. For instance, y'all think I got time to go on vacation? No. I got social to do. Come on, man, this is blue screen. In fact, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I haven't looked like this good in years. I've been totally computer generated since like the 90s. You know what? This ain't even real blue screen. It's 2019, y'all. Nothing's real. Will Smith and Jim Carrey be telling us. Will Smith and Jim Carrey be telling us something in their movies, bro. I'm telling you. They be telling us. And and uh, that clip before that. Bro, wildin' he, bro, he wildin' in the car, bro. I had two car accidents. I had two of them. I still got pictures for the first one. And I would have to go back to Snapchat to find this, the picture, the video of the second one, the way that one looked. Yeah, I got in two of them, bro. Total both the cars. But I hope little bro's still alive. I hope he, I hope he made it up out of that, man. If y'all know anything, y'all spam it up in the comments. But prayers to bro, if he, I hope, if it happened recently, hopefully that's a speedy recovery, because... Cars and things ain't nothing to play with, bro. Cars just being in them in general ain't nothing to play with. You gotta be cautious and drive safe. That go for everybody watching this right now, bro. Just drive safe. Drive safe. I went too deep. I went too deep. Have you heard of the prison planet theory? Well, guess who just learned about it? Yeah. I didn't sleep last night. I did not sleep last night. And if you keep watching this, you're probably not gonna sleep either. So here I am minding my own business on Reddit when I found Escaping Prison Planet. And for the next three hours, I dove too deep. Here's the gist of it. Essentially, we're all trapped here on Earth. We're all trapped here. And everything we know about, you know, like all the religions that believe in reincarnation, all these different things. Yeah, we keep coming back to this Earth because there are astral beings that are harvesting our energy and they are trapping us here. Sounds crazy, right? Sounds crazy. Well, let's get into the details. Apparently, these beings that are controlling us are these reptilian beings that you always hear about. Well, let's dive into it, you know. In Jainism and Hinduism, they have Nagas, half human, half serpent. The Aztec Empire talked about a serpent-like god that they called Quetzalcoatl. And don't tell me if I pronounced it right or wrong. I don't care, okay? Surely, two instances, right? This is just a coincidence. African shamans talk about the Shitari, and it is a race of reptilian beings. The Hopi Indians in North America had the Shaiti, which translates to Snake Brothers. Chinese, Japanese, and Korean legends all talk about the Kappa. And Gnostic tests, which if you don't know about the Gnostics, Gnosis just means knowledge. And basically what the Gnostics believed was after Christ died, you have to have particular knowledge that would save you. Well, the Gnostics, yeah, they believe in archons, which are parasitic entities that feed off of us. We're doing okay? We doing okay? So the question is why? What, what are these beings doing? Why are they here? Apparently, they have been involved from the foundations of human history in manipulating us, creating this soul trap, harvesting our energy. And what this theory proposes is essentially that light a tunnel that many people have talked about that have had near-death experiences or death experiences. Yeah, it's just to trick us, to essentially wipe us clean, send our souls back, and start the process again. So every major form of religion talks about how we have a soul. Well, we are a soul. We have a body, right? This body is essentially a rental car. And these beings, what they feed off of, what the energy they feed off of is this low vibrational energy. So whether it's stress, whether it's fear, whether it's contention, pain, grief, jealousy, rage, all of it, anxiety, that's what they feed off of. And so they manipulate and they toy with us and they do all these things to create this energy. Now, I don't know if this is true, but that kind of describes the world we live in. It kind of describes it pretty damn well. I mean, look what Tesla says. He says, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. What freaks me out the most is there's so many urban legends talking about these freaking reptilians. You know, that motherfucker right there is not real, right? Like, everything that's going on in freaking Miami, like, 
like I think we can all agree that there's multiple dimensions, right? People have an experience experiences on psychedelics where multiple people will take the same thing. They all go to another dimension and see the same thing. Like, how do you explain that? How do you explain that? Explain it to me, please. I'm going way too long with this and I haven't even freaking scratched the surface. I haven't even scratched the surface, but basically we're just all here. Life is engineered to create this low vibrational energy. And what happens is when we die, when we go through that light tunnel, we're tricked into thinking, hey, you need to go back to earth. There's more you need to learn or there's karma you need to resolve or, you know, there's a higher purpose that you need to do. And we come back and it's the same thing. <laughs> Listen, I'm a very spiritual person, very spiritual. I believe all of us as humans are connected. I believe you look at every major world religion and there's commonalities and that it's because it stems from this eternal knowledge. But this freaking scared the crap out of me. Because what if it's all just engineered to trick us? Anyways, I can dive deeper if you guys are interested. But uh, if you're not, whatever. I'll just be sitting up at night, not being able to sleep. But was the serpent representing that in the Bible to y'all? Y'all, was he reaching? Let me know. Y'all think he was reaching? I don't think he was reaching. And I think there is been, we, we've been shown shit numerous times that history written about these reptilians man come on so i don't think he reaching but again y'all let me know but i love dude's energy his energy was i love i love his energy man i love his energy i like how he's eager to learn and he's like bro it just blew me away and he's just so he's hype about it which hype me up bro <laughs> makes that's how i be feeling like when i learn something new i'd be like bro i'd be happy i'll be telling everybody i know who's understanding and open-minded enough to listen yeah, but y'all spam it up. Let me know. Y'all want him more on this channel? Y'all want him more on this channel? Let me know. They went two directions. They went out to what is now known as Oceania and became a people known as the Negritos. And they also went towards Mexico and impacted this Olmec civilization. The reason why we now know that is because there was a genetic trace done. You know about DNA now. That's getting a lot of play in the paper. DNA means you can trace the genetic code of a people the genetic code of the and there are, are still native blacks in mexico that's never been explained by archaeologists before columbus arrived dna tests done on them dna tests done on the bones of some of the olmec people not all of them the ancient remains show a definite genetic trace not to africa only but across the pacific when they found that out, they said, that's got to be wrong. It just doesn't matter. Oh, there are no black people out in the Pacific, but there's this definite trace, lineage they could trace out towards Hawaii and beyond Hawaii. Then they began a worldwide match of DNA. Well, who does this, who does this, who these strange black people, who do they match up with? They don't match up with Africans. They matched up with the Negritos in Oceania. It looks now, scientists believe, there was a central point from which they went in both directions. So this is a marvelous heritage. And, you know, some people say, well, you're a white guy. How can you talk about stuff like this? I get flack from this on both sides. The purpose of our magazine is to tell the truth about what happened to our country and our continents before Columbus. And if it shows that there were white Vikings here, and there were, we tell that. And if it shows that there were Asians here visiting, Chinese here visiting Mexico, we'll tell about that. And if there were blacks here, we have to tell that too. That's all part of our heritage. And I think, it's, I think it's thrilling and exciting for, for all of us. I th it, it's remarkable. So what we're telling you, I mean, this is just in a nutshell, and you're going to be seeing a lot more of this, not just in our magazine. Believe me, you're going to be seeing this on TV. It's, it's bound to burst out because it's now it's really known in the archaeological community. You've had four of these major impacts that the black people have made to the Americas, not only before Columbus was born, but before far even Spain or Italy existed. That's, that's the kind of, of roots that are in this country. And by knowing that, and the more you know about it, it's an empowerment. You're, you're really rude. You you're, have got a heritage which is more than slavery. Sure, there was slavery, but that's not all. That's a small part of it. Long before that, there's a heritage of kings, seafarers, religious missionaries, and they were all here. But it happened so long ago, there's just so little of it left. And that's basically, that's basically my story. Um, the, what connects it up is even the word more, because it's pronounced differently in different parts, of, even of Africa. And they call them... Damn, he was digging. 
Buzz Aldrin saw the devil himself in Antarctica. Listen closely, it's terrifying. In 2016, a satellite captured an image of what experts believe to be a massive pyramid in Antarctica. Now, if it indeed was a pyramid, it would be the largest pyramid ever found on Earth, bigger than the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is about 230 meters wide. This pyramid in Antarctica would be 2,000 meters wide. Apparently, in 2016, Buzz Aldrin and his team assembled and went to Antarctica to explore and verify this colossal pyramid. They wanted to see it for themselves, but this is where it gets crazy. During the expedition, Buzz Aldrin had a heart attack. He was hospitalized for days, but when he fully recovered and left the hospital, he tweeted something strange, but quickly deleted it. It said, we are all in danger. It is evil itself. What is he talking about? Because I don't want to find out. Someone close to Buzz said they spoke with him and he said this. Buzz said one thing and he just said, we thought out things we shouldn't implement. What do you mean by that? What did they find? Buzz Aldrin also shared several chilling photos. To see them click on share more than photos. I'm about to show you the scariest video on the internet and here's why. This boy stole his mom's phone and decided to record. What he captured was his deceased grandmother. This lady is not real. That motherfucker is not real. <laughs> Check it out. Why, man, something always happened to somebody who about to really crack the code open. It, it, it always go like that, bro. It always go like that. And then he, yeah, whatever, whatever. I, I want to know, I want to know more about that. I want to know more about that. And I wish they didn't do that to people who about to just crack the code on everything and give us the truth. I'm like, bro, just give us the truth, bro. And that last clip, when she talking about the person, the grandmother ain't real. Shit. Look, I already didn't tell all my family members. If you want to come back and visit, make it a pleasant visit. Don't scare me like that, bro. Don't don't do stuff like that. You gonna have me shook, and I don't want that. I don't want that. I just don't. You you watching this might really be like, you know, that's cool. I don't mind it. Me, I mind it. I'm different. I don't care. I don't want it. If you gonna make like show up as a hummingbird or something, don't don't just pop up looking off or crazy if you're gonna come back man come back in a pleasant don't be like flinging papers or making thuds all over the house don't don't do the creepy stuff bro keep it simple keep it simple keep it pleasant keep it loving let me know it's you bro straight up let me know it's you show up in my dreams or something like but don't don't do the extra and i don't know and then again that could have been like a demon taking shape and hold and, and pretending to be the grandmother so you can't trust that either Cause you know, the more you play around, the more you gonna, more you gonna find out. <laughs> we made it to the end of this, man. Y'all know I appreciate the collective. I love y'all, man. Hey, I've been having fun on the other end when I'm on free time. I've been putting together, I've been putting the clothing and stuff together. So I've been having fun with that, man, and I'm enjoying it. I know y'all gonna love it. Like I said, I take my time with a lot of this, bro. I take my time. So when it takes time to come to y'all, don't trip. I'm just trying to give y'all quality. Trying to give y'all what y'all deserve since y'all been supporting me. Man, y'all been supporting me. We turned it into something that we collected, bro. So, it's only right we get the, the the merchandise. It's only right that we start working with the community. Yeah, don't trip. I'm going to hold up. I'm gonna, yeah, don't trip. That's coming. But I ain't going to hold you, man. I'm going to let y'all get out of here. But please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notify whenever we drop them uploads. I know we come with them four videos a week, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. When you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, it helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, and helps more people who like this type of content tap in with this content. But until I see y'all in the next one, man, y'all have a smooth seven. Hey, until I see y'all again, we gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just check my count, check, sheesh, at the amount. You probably know what I'm